we have a surprise for you today. And it's not tea. No, it's tea related though. Yeah. We oh. decided that we needed one of those fancy tea trays where you can pour the water right down into them. So we found one on TV. And we're going to have it with bamboo pu'er. We'll link the video right there. Yeah, we reviewed this recently. Let's move the So there goes. That's board. just a breadboard. It's just what you put bread on. We've been using on. it for quite a while. It actually worked pretty well, but you still had to play, have a place to put your liquid. So this was in a box and then shrink-wrapped shrink around the box, but we thought we'd spare you that. But we have not opened it and looked at it. Uh, it's got a double. handle sticking out. I'm not sure. Herby derby. No, that's not part of it. Okay. It is tightly fit. Fitted. Oh. It was not going to go anywhere during shipping. Good gravy. And this shipped from their U.S. warehouse. So it only took about a week. Oh. We bought okay. it during the sale. Yeah, just forget oh, well. it. Tear them off. Yeah, Sorry there was box. a sale. Did they glue it? Okay, there did we go. Did they glue it in here? What, what, what exactly You did still they get do? to see the shrink wrap because there's more shrink wrap here. Okay, Yay. there we go. All right. Free at last. Free at last. Mostly. We still have this. Ooh, look at that. All right, this is a special kind of bamboo. That's pretty. I'll put a little description on the screen there of Ooh. what they did to that bamboo. So you can kind of already see what makes this Ooh, that's so special. pretty. But if you look, let's see if yeah. I can't. Yeah, this is supposed to be flipped around. Yep. All right, so there's a little design on here. It's a little mountain. Yep. But and then you got this is what holes. makes it so then, special. Yes, you've got an actual drain tray here. And then we have a tube here, which I think you can attach to something and stick it into something else. Yeah, if you really are pouring out the tea. So, obviously, if you have a situation like that, you're going to empty it every time because that will grow some bacteria with just that little bit of sugar that's in the tea. So you're not going to want to just keep letting that stand. That would be a great place to attract mold. And there it says something in Chinese. And we can't read Chinese, so we don't know what it says. Something. It's very pretty. Let's go ahead and stick all our stuff on it. The only okay, thing... Okay, well, where does this go? Hmm. All right, so that, I'm guessing, would go into Right there. there. Okay. So we got this nozzle here. We're going to attach... piece of plastic hanging there. Hang on. I'm gonna move y'all up a bit. Oh look, it has a cap here so that it won't leak. You well, can cap handy. it if you did not want to pour it out somewhere. So I want to attach it and then we'll cap it because I don't know where we'd drain it. No, no, bowl. <laughs> That'd be okay. really stupid it's, looking. Uh, Are you... I'm trying to... Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. It goes on there. And uh, what are you doing? She's siphoning. <laughs> okay, so that drain... <laughs> it's not really that go, long. You know, it's not really long. But if you had a bucket somewhere under your tea set, you could drain off mass quantities. No, but we not, don't. We're not going to use that. We're going to cap it. But it's interesting. Oh, it's like a little cork. But I wouldn't suck it. Yeah, a little cork. So that, the water, just sits in here and do drain that every time so you don't grow mold. Yes, okay. please. That would be kind of disgusting. Next, right. I guess, we'll have to get a tea pet. Is this a tea pet? This no, is, no, that's a hedgehog infuser. Okay, well, we'll stick it on here anyway. Okay, and... I presume that this can handle the heat here. Let's I would hope find so. Out. An actual tea pet, when you pour water on it, it turns colors. And uh, Chinese say that you're offering some of the water to it.
Let's get some tea. So we've got this bamboo wrapping here around this tea. And we really like this particular tea. It's a pu'er, and we'll link it down there for you if you want one. Because there are several brands of this on Amazon. You want to get the right brand. And half is quite enough. You're doing half for a quarter. Half. I'm just going to make it into quarters so it infuses better. Okay. Get a little okay. piece of that. It just looks like a little pile of crackers or something. And we keep it in here. And I think we will get through the whole quantity of it before we have to worry about it getting stale. Almost definitely. Because we like it. We do, we do. So I spilled a little bit, and look at that. Oh, okay, so the water beads up. Now, it did say that it might have a little bit of a plasticky smell from the coating. Do you smell anything? Yeah. How bad is it? Like if you went to Costco and smelled one of the lawn chairs. So just that new product smell. Just your I'm in a store kind of smell. Now this would be the rinse, so shall we stick it in the tray? Stick or it is it dark enough for you? Well, yeah, do it like you would be gong for brewing, for real. Because that's what we're doing. So the rinse, here we go, pour it in there. It beads up. It goes in those little slits. There you go, and watch it disappear. There we go. All right. And if we look underneath, see what happened. Ta-da! There is tea rinse in there. Okay. And tea leaves. <laughs> did what it was supposed to. We did a poo air session, and we're going to clean it. So you can see that the water beads up. If I move that around with my hand, you can see it beads up. I can kind of get some of it down into the grate, but not much and now I need a paper towel we'll do with that in a minute and if you come over here you shall see that this which we inserted the wrong way um, is filled with water and leaves of which I'm going to go pour out and grab a washcloth to show you how we remove the wetness once you have removed most of the tea leaves you can take a wet washcloth, a paper towel, or towel, and remove, oops, sorry, hedgehog, all of the excess water from your little pan here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to lay it out and just kind of let it sit and dry out in the open and then to clean this what I'm going to do is first wipe off the top where most of the water has beaded up and then to make sure that I get any water that has gone down to the surface but not yet dripped I stick the towel underneath here take my hand and wipe along the bottom here now it is a nice height for a person to sit there and do this. Are you liking the height? I'm on my knees. You You're on your knees. I'm normally on my knees when I'm pouring when we're not in a video anyway. So it adds. Yeah. So what I did was I actually just moved the camera up a little bit. So it would be more intimate. So it would actually, well, so you could actually see the tea because we have it normally about here instead of up here. Okay, so we're adjusting our camera height because this is a little height. And I'll put... The dimensions of it right there. And I don't even have to worry about getting a paper towel for spills. Isn't that lovely? That's lovely. Not something anybody really needs. It's just fun. More completely doing the ritual. And it's pretty. I got the darkest color they had. They had light ones too. 
And of course, I've linked it for you below. Mm, I'll like this tea. Rich. Sweet. Dark. Creamy. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's a good tea. Okay, so the tray, it's not wood. Doesn't really seem like wood. It, but it's not plastic either. It, it's bamboo with a nice coating that makes the water beat up. So as you continue to watch our videos, you'll see how it wears. But here at first blush, I'd say I like it. And until we see you again, make sure to make Tapertine a good book. And get some fun tea wear too.